Hello guys, um, this is Andres again with another tropical birding virtual tour, this time to the Caribbean. I'm uh, going to take you to Belize and we have a birding with a camera tour here which is a bit different from the normal birding tours in the way that we spend some extra time photographing the birds, trying to get some nice pictures and not only seeing the birds as we go on our path. Uh, for that, let's start with the map. Belize is the second smallest country in Central America, just after El Salvador. And um, it is a famous destination amongst the US people and families because they come here to do some snorkeling, to visit the beaches, and uh, um, it's famous for the Great Blue Hole, for instance, and people that just go around there trying to snorkel and, and do different things. But for us, we will start our birding tour that it is actually quite uh, short. It takes a night in the city of Belize here and um, then we spend two nights in forest here, two nights in a lagoon and two nights in a pine ridge. Okay, this is very easy. We start first with um, our hotel in, um, in uh, Belize, a very nice and comfortable hotel in front of the ocean right there this is a picture taken from uh, google uh, maps okay and from there we go in one go towards here la milpa lodge right in there uh, on this ride we uh, see a couple of interesting birds on the way that are not in the destination itself but we try to find this one here is the most important one, is the key one. For most people that are familiar with the very common gray catbird, well, we look for black catbird on the way to uh, La Milpa the first day. Uh, another of the Yucatan specialists, that this guy here, is the uh, mangrove vireo, a uh, picture from my friend uh, Ben Canut that came with me in one of these tours. Uh, another Central American specialty, a spot-breasted wren, um, we have chance to see a couple of things that you are familiar with, like uh, eastern uh, um, meadowlarks and um, tricolored herons. This is a great trip for people that go out of the US for the first time because they find a few familiar things and a few new things. Um, once we get here to La Milpa, notice how we go through some deforested areas, some dry areas, but once we get to La Milpa, this is pure forest right here. It's pure tropical forest. And as pure tropical forest, you will see that the place is very nice. Um, it is actually a big archaeological site, the second one in the second one biggest in Belize. Um, and it is surrounded by just pure pristine forest. This is our hotel. This here is the bar. The funny name of the bar is the Chiggers Bar. And they are not short on chiggers, but it's not really an issue. <laughs> um, and this is the restaurant. The view from the cabins is this one here, and it's a very nice thing because you have plenty, plenty of birds just from your doorstep of your of your room. And since it feels very tropical, what is the typical image of uh, the tropics? Well, monkeys. And we get this just by walking a little bit away from the cabins, like black-handed howler monkeys are really cool to watch. We also have howler monkeys that you can hear them screaming by uh, at dusk and dawn. But then we start having some of these um, very cool typical tropical uh, families like trogons, in this case gartered trogon and toucans. We have a couple like the famous killbill toucan that I don't have a picture of, but we also have this one here called the colored arasari. We have another species, the northern emerald toucanet and a couple other things like mannequins, very tropical families. This is an awesome picture by my friend Ben Canute of a red cap mannequin that we got last year in Amilpa. Uh, another typical tropical family, um, puffbirds. White whiskered puffbird is one of the cool birds here. So people are going out from the States for the first time, this is what you're waiting for. Uh, Anthroches, another family that you might not be familiar with if you haven't been outside yet, outside the US or the UK or whatever. Um, this is a really, really cool bird and very, very difficult to photograph, but they have a bit of a setting there to photograph this bird there in Amilpa. But the key thing and one of the best things of Belize is this bird here. This is the oscillated turkey. It's a beast. This is a male. And yeah, no, it's not sick. 
this is not cancer. <laughs> Uh, this is actually a um, sexual attraction for the females. The weirdest it looks, the better it is for the females. So these knobs here, they look orange and yellow and that, and the weirder it looks, the best it is for the females. And you see this here is actually a retractile um, waddle, we can say, that whenever he is really excited, uh, um, shows it better. Uh, like here, you can see it's a bit more extended as you can see um, and as I told you this is a birding with a camera tour if we have a chance to spend quite a bit of time photographing these birds then we'll do it oh look at this it's very exciting it saw me so it's excited <laughs> and uh, sometimes we get to be really close to that uh, you see in the introduction and here there's a detail of the feathers of this bird it's just an absolutely mega world bird this one here some other of the specialties come in uh, smaller sizes as well. This is a toddy modmot. This uh, La Milpa is famous for. Together with white colored manakin um, and gray throated chat. Those are kind of the keywords that we try for in there. Things that you can see in other places in Costa Rica, for instance, or in Panama are great curacaos, but uh, in Belize, La Milpa is one of the best places for that. Um, and this one is really cool. It's in the same family and the same genus, in fact, of your summer tanager and uh, scarlet tanager. This is called the rose-throated tanager. We put a special attention to try to find this one here, it's like that. La milpa also has a um, setting of feeders where you can find a couple of cool, cool, cool birds. A few orioles and um, these are the most um, beautiful in the feeders, really, is the red-legged honey creeper. Another one that it is very common throughout the uh, the uh, tropics, really. I call it the the northern cardinal of the tropics. This is a green honey creeper. <laughs> also, the feeders hold a couple of uh, hummingbirds. Is not um, the hummingbirds are not as varied and, and as um, numerous as they are, for instance, in the Andes, in the tropical Andes. But we still get a few things like that brown violet ear or rufous-tailed uh, hummingbird or a white-bellied emerald, white-necked jacobins. So all these are in La Milpa. It's a very, very nice destination. We spend two nights in La Milpa exploring the trails, exploring different things, trying to find some of the most widely distributed birds like uh, lineated woodpecker here, um, northern Chifornis, um, Pale-billed woodpecker is another of the cool birds uh, of the area, and red-throated ant tanagers. One cool bird, really, is this um, royal flycatcher, which uh, extends its crest when it is really, really excited. I have sadly never seen it with the crest extend, extended like that. Um, and recently, it got placed in a different family from the tyrant flycatcher family that it was. It is now on the um, a sharp bill family. I don't know how. Ruddy tail flycatcher actually is with the same royal flycatcher in the in this other family they, they, um, that I was mentioning. We have a chance to see jacamars, another of the families that you might not be familiar with if you have only birded in the north hemisphere, and um, a seed eater, white colored seed eater, and we give them. Uh, some time for also a few migrants. This, remember, we are in the Yucatan Peninsula, and so um, here is where several of the migrants that you may be familiar with um, first uh, rest before crossing the uh, the Gulf of Mexico to um, to reach the U.S. and their breeding grounds. Okay, so once we have already spent the um, perfect time in La Milpa here, we move away from the forest and we change ecosystems completely and we go to these areas here of uh, Crockett Tree. This area here is a very very nice lagoon um, that we explore it with uh, boat rides here. We do um, a couple of boat rides in the afternoon trying to get the golden light and try to get several things and we tend to go all the way around here and if there's a chance if it is open we go a little bit around here um, 
but uh, more than anything we spend some time here uh, in the hotel we called it the bird's eye view lodge and um, once we are done with the uh, boat rides we go inside here and it is a weird tropical pine savanna that uh, is very sandy soils and we look for some stuff in there okay it's completely different these two next days are very very different in terms of feeling and in terms of uh, the environment so this is the hotel that we stay at you can see that it's just in front of the lagoon and uh, it is very comfortable very nice uh, the sunsets are spectacular the sunrises as well um, we have plenty of time to be on our own here as well just trying to take pictures of things as, uh, as you want as you go uh, but um, the most important thing is the boat rides that we do so here we're going out on the boat ride in one afternoon and we look for things like this this is a key one um, it's a funny shot this is an agami heron and for the ones familiar with agami heron you know that it doesn't have a short bill right you just have a different angle this is it the mighty agami heron beautiful eh this is one of the things that we can see in there especially by March and April the lake is a little bit lower in terms of water and we can see things like this American picnic kingfisher easier um, and uh, as I told you birding with a camera tour we try to have different angles and try to photograph everything we see get green kingfishers as well and uh, the biggest in uh, the um, hemisphere the uh, ringed kingfisher have a chance to get uh, belted as well another of the uh, picturesque birds and famous uh, for this area is the tiger herons this is the bare-throated tiger heron that we normally see around here in this uh, uh, lake uh, and this bird here is very very cool the black colored hawk we have a chance to see as well most times just a flyby and sometimes we get it perched is a is a fish eating hawk so that's why it is there a big target for a lot of people is this one and again it is easier when the lake and the waters are low you see here is a very low uh, low year in terms of water and therefore we were very um, lucky with the jabiru's we saw several of those uh, jabiru's but the previous year I went there and the waters were really high we didn't see anyone in any case uh, we spent some time photographing these things um, uh, well-known bird a green heron but with the light that we get here we can spend some time photographing it is very cool apart from the normal big water birds there is a couple of key things that we want to find um, this is a um, Yucatan vireo and the thing with this is that uh, oh mangrove vireo the thing is that it um, uh, is only in the mangroves just around the lakes so it's one of the key things that we want uh, and this is a Yucatan woodpecker also quite re uh, restricted to here so these are some of the Yucatan endemics once we're done with the boat rides after we saw those things we can spend some time just around the lodge grounds and you can take pictures of uh, several subjects that are just around very close like the uh, mangrove swallows or gray breasted martins um, Caspian terns and uh, this goldbill tern as well um, and this is my continuous attempt to get a nice picture of a uh, northern jacana first photo all right second photo a bit better third photo maybe better but i cannot compare to the photo that pablo cervantes a friend of mine got when we went together there a couple of years back of this northern jacana very cool eh? again burning with the camera you get a chance to um, try for these things couple migrants related to water that we get here this guy here the uh, prothonotary warbler we can get water thrushes as well and um, uh, a few more um, same um, with um, purple gallinules are often seen and rusted naped wood rails are among the subjects that we can see typically and um, snail kites are also very common around these areas I thought that I got a very very nice shot of a snail kite until Ben Canut showed me his <laughs> so um, yeah once we're done photographing the things around there around the, um, the lake and that we move as I told you 
to this pine savanna inside this sort of island of crocket tree and uh, we look for um, a few things in um, in these areas like um, woodpeckers this acorn woodpecker people from western US is quite familiar with this one but it's always a very nice subject to photograph so we spend a little bit of time trying to get a very nice light on those and try to photograph them really well it's one of my favorite woodpeckers in the world so um, I even if my clients don't want it I put some time on this one uh, ferruginous pygmy owls are around and um, they are cool to watch they bring other birds around laughing falcons um, one of the coolest of the falcons in the world especially in the neotropics this is a northern bent bill you can see why rose-breasted becards are around in the spine savanna area and this is a, this is a cool one is um, kind of restricted to these uh, portions of Central America so um, rusty breasted spine tail is a cool bird to try to photograph some more widely distributed birds uh, but new for the tour probably um, social flycatchers and northern mockingbirds and uh, just around the lodge we have uh, vermilion flycatchers which are cool subjects to try to photograph these two were having a dispute you can see the stink eye on this one here trying to if this one goes too close he's gonna get it we actually saw it uh, <laughs> fighting quite uh, funnily quite fronted parrots are around uh, yucatan parrots that i don't have pictures of are also around kind of big targets for the area um olive throated parakeets as well but the key one for us in here is this puppy here is beautiful I, it's one of my favorite birds in Belize um, the Yucatan Jay adult young bird probably more attractive the young bird than the adult um, both are really really cool these uh, Yucatan Jay is uh, restricted obviously to the Yucatan Peninsula so we try to put a special attention on that one so um, our time in um, croquetry has come to an end after a nice uh, couple boat rides and visit the pine savannas and now we take our car and we move south we go down here this road um, and we cross through the Belmopan is the capital city of the country here and we go over to these areas here we stop for lunch in uh, the way uh, food in Belize is very nice um, quite tasty Creole uh, and mixed with Central American so some fried beans refried beans and uh, it's, it's very very nice but we come here to the hotel that we're staying is called the Mariposa Jungle Lodge uh, it's a very nice uh, lodge very comfortable as you can see this is from Google Earth and Google Maps um, the the facilities are really 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 nice but we use the um, the lodge here to explore an area that is very different here is the mountain pine ridge here so it's a little bit higher in elevation which makes it a bit different uh, in terms of uh, the wildlife that we look for but notice that the lodge per se is very is, is much in uh, inside forest so we get to bird a little bit the lodge itself as well so um, yeah those are the uh, uh, pictures of the lodge that I was showing you this is from their website um, nice forest just around the lodge but this is the pine ridge okay this is my friend Pablo they're posing um, and um, we are watching here is a very nice place to watch orange breasted falcon you can see it right that pixel there is the orange breasted falcon um, and uh, we continue on uh, being touristic uh, sending photos home this is me in the same uh, place it's called the thousand foot waterfalls right in here the things that we look for in the pine savanna here or the pine ridge in here include this black-headed saltator is a really cool bird uh, grace's warbler is one of the um, nice warblers of these areas here uh, again we try to take some time and try to take good pictures of it um, Greater Peewee is always in the pine area. If we are lucky, we can even see a roosting Estigian owl. I have not been lucky yet to see it there. Uh, rusty sparrows are also in the ridge area. And uh, yellow-faced grass squids. 
I don't have a picture, but we also look for rufous cap warbler in the in their uh, rich area, and um, it is famous for um, a couple other things, um, like a lovely cotinga, which is very very hard, and if we see it, we tend to see it very distantly. That's why I don't have a picture, but. Panback wrens are around, and um, blue black grosbeaks are around. Um, other species of wi widely distributed woodpeckers, like this black chicked, we can see in there. And um, take some pictures of uh, chestnut colored woodpeckers. Uh, one of my favorites in the area just around the lodge include this one here, is a crimson colored tanager. It's such a beautiful bird, this one here and um, the black-throated, uh, uh, green-breasted mango um, is a possibility if it is open because it's normally not all the time open. There is a garden that holds uh, some feeders and we can see these and four or more species of hummingbirds. The ridge is also very very good for flying raptors like these swallowtail kites. We can spend some time trying to photograph them if they soar by quite close. Uh, or even black and white hawk eagles are, are in the area. Um, some other small birds that are just um, from the cabins we can see northern barred wood creepers and slaty uh, headed toddy flycatchers, um, slaty tailed trogons are just around the lodge, um, and that's it. Um, it's a beautiful tour, as I told you, um, short, so it's basically a long week for you guys. A lot of people, what they want to add is these. We give them the chance, now that we finish the tour here, for most people, they go back to Belize and they take um, their flights back. But we offer an extension that is customized for people to come here, cross the international border into Guatemala, and go visit El Tical. Yeah, this is from the Guatemala tourism website. A lot of people are familiar with this, the pyramids. There's a picture from, from my friend Daniel Aldana. So that's it with me, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. Come to Belize with me at some point, okay?